Hi, I'm Anne from The Olive Scene. The Olive Scene features ultra premium extra virgin olive oils and aged balsamic vinegars from around the world. Our oils and vinegars are on tap and available for you to sample. Today we're going to talk about basic roasted vegetables. We're going to start with broccoli. It's a very universal vegetable. You can get it year round. And when you roast vegetables, it's a great way to get your dinner started. We're also gonna talk about what to do with the leftover roasted vegetables because there are lots and lots of ways to use them. So let's get started. You want to cut it kind of high on the stalk so that you get the floret piece of the broccoli. From there, I cut down through the different little stalks so that I am creating florets that are pretty much evenly sized. They go into my bowl. If you do like the stock, cut off the very bottom of it, and you may want to peel some of these more fibrous sections, either with the peeler or with your knife. And this part of the broccoli is very delicious. And now you can take that and cut this into smaller pieces for roasting. I do roast these separately. These are also wonderful for in soups. If you dice them very small, you can saute them up and they're great for in a salad, they're great for in a frittata, or any other things, rice, um, on pasta, things like that. We're gonna put these aside and work mainly with the florets. So I have those in the bowl. This is my favorite uh, vegetable tossing bowl because it has a nice high side so I can toss easily. I'm going to use a simple, extra virgin, fresh pressed olive oil. Broccoli and any vegetable is a great way to become adventuresome. Change your oil and you'll get a whole new flavor. If I use sesame oil, I'm gonna have a nice sesame broccoli. If I use a Tuscan herb olive oil, I'm gonna have an herb roasted broccoli. So there's lots of different oils that you can do, and of course we have over 50 oils and vinegars in the store. But for broccoli, for our purposes right now, I'm going to use just our uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is a Frantoyo. I'm gonna drizzle Oh, just a tablespoon or two onto the broccoli. It doesn't take a lot because these oils have such incredible flavor. And now you're just gonna toss to coat. And when the vegetables are nice and shiny, you know that they're coated. If you have oil in the bottom of your bowl when you are done, you've used too much. Again, we just want to enhance the flavor of the broccoli with our oil. We don't wanna cover up that wonderful flavor of fresh broccoli. The other nice thing about our oils are because the flavors are so big, because they are fresh, the fresher an olive oil, the better the pressing, the better the harvesting, the better the production of it, the more flavor it has. So we want you to use less than what you're used to using. It has big flavor. You don't have to chase a taste by adding more and more of the oil to it. Okay, so now they're nice and shiny. You can see that they're nicely evenly coated. It's going to go right on my cookie sheet and I'm gonna make sure that they are separated. Okay, so now they're ready to go into your oven. I have the oven set at 400 degrees. They are gonna go in for 10 minutes. All my roasted vegetables go in for 10 minutes to start. Unless they happen to be really, really thin. This asparagus is a little thin for 10 minutes, but we'll see how it goes in a minute. So this is gonna go in for 10 minutes. I'm gonna shake the pan, and then it's gonna roast until the florets have a nice golden sear on them. And here we are, wonderfully roasted broccoli. You can see that they do have a nice little crispy crust on the very tips of them, and that's the way we like them. When you've made too many roasted vegetables, which I do advise, bag up or put them in containers, usually about a half a cup in each one, and then I use them throughout the week. If I'm making a salad the next night, I will toss a couple roasted vegetables into it. It gives it another flavor. If I have pasta that I'm gonna make for dinner, I'll add some of the leftover roasted vegetables. Give it a toss. A little bit of cheese. And your dinner is served. They can also be used in soups. If you're making sandwiches for your children, put some roasted vegetables on there. Get a little extra nutrition. It's a great thing to have on hand. Roast a lot of vegetables.